Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could be... Where is that venomous tentacular? Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Revelio!
completed that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. Lumos. Spare a moment? I could use your help. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again. Uh, 
Alohomora. Struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Heard you and Sebastian traversed a mountain in Loyalist territory. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. 
Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower, just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside the bell tower. places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelia. Rebellion. Bells must be upstairs. Oh. Revelia. to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps.
Wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. I managed to comprehend everyone. The Dedalian keys are back. Are they brilliant? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let us not on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. back up Evangeline oh you're a credit to the school I can't wait to hear them I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them I wish I could see his face future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done but I do and I hope that you do as well you don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts Lumos. Revelia. Spare a moment. I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, 
We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me puff skeen dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. I'd better keep an eye on high places around... as cobblestones. Revelio. I've taken to study it. Rebellion. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Confringo! This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. It doesn't care for light.
the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Confringo! I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacle would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. It's you! Just the person I need. Anyway. What am I missing? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Have you found anything to, uh, prove- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff Scheme Dunking for me.